What's going on, Southern Miss fans? What's going on, college football fans? What's going on, just fans of fucking football? How about that? All right, tonight, yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing an a, a Xbox 360 game, an old game. I'm sitting here uh, having a couple drinks, you know, uh, playing the old Skyrim. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Skyrim. I'm um, sitting here playing the old Skyrim before I jump on NCAA 14 tonight. I uh, just want to do a real a quick review on uh, well, what we got here. Wolfhound Irish Whiskey, okay? Wolfhound Irish Whiskey is a product of Ireland. The gentle giant of Irish whiskey's Wolfhound is smooth and rich with a hues of deep golden amber crafted from fine Irish malt and grain by the master distiller of Wolfhound Irish Whiskey. It's an Irish craft, Irish quality. It's a gentle giant, okay? Uh, Irish Irish Wolfhound Whiskey or Wolfhound Irish Whiskey. Uh, it's 40%. Uh, it's got a cool little logo if you like uh, Irish Wolfhounds, the dogs, the huge dogs. Uh, that's the uh, old logo there. And on the back of it, it says uh, Irish uh, Wolfhound Irish Whiskey, the Gentle Giant. Enhance the aroma and flavor of our Irish Whiskey with a touch of ginger ale. Ginger ale now. Soda of natural spring water and released, oh, and released Wolfhound's hidden character. Uh, like I said, it's a product of Ireland. Uh, it's imported. Uh, let's see where it's coming in at. Princeton, Minnesota. How about that? So, like I said, you got your Irish Wolfhound whiskey. Uh, I, I saw a post. Uh, hold on. Hey, Mark. What's up, brother? Uh, nothing, brother. You know, I'm just doing a little whiskey review, playing the old Xbox. Uh, you know, good to see Mark on the show. Uh, but anyways, <coughs> I was scrolling through uh, Twitter, doing a couple uh, whiskey. Uh, I was looking at whiskey reviews, and uh, I, I saw one that said something about um, Irish whiskey, so I clicked on it. And then a, a post from 2013 popped up, and it was about this whiskey. And it said, you know, they drink all their Irish whiskey, scotches, and all that straight, as do I. But then they said, with this one, try it with Coke. So that's what I did tonight. And boy, let me tell you. First, I want to go ahead and take that top off. Hold on. Let me see. My phone's blowing up. Uh, but no, I wanted to pour this sum up in my, uh, my old Chiefs glass. I don't know if y'all can see that. Kansas City Chiefs Cup with some ice. Let me pour me some up. Right there. Check me out. That's what we got. That's what it looks like. And uh, just to try it straight, we'll, we'll see how it tastes. Let's we'll see how it tastes straight. I mean, to be honest with you, it's got a little kick to it, but it's tastes like a normal, tastes like a normal Irish whiskey. Tastes like a uh, um, proper 12. It really does. Uh, it's a cheaper version of a proper 12. I just poured some Pepsi into it. Looks like a, like a normal uh, American whiskey kind of mixed with uh, Pepsi, but um. Dude, it's really smooth. I'm serious. If you if you guys like Jameson, if you like Proper Twelve, you got to try uh, the Wolfhound Irish Whiskey. It tastes very similar to it. Now, uh, I'm a big fan of it. Let me try it with some Coke, as I already have tonight. But let me try it on camera one time. I'll be honest with you. It tastes 
It really does taste. Uh, I know a lot of people don't do this, but if you ever have put your uh, proper 12 or that Jameson in some Coke, uh, tastes just like it. Uh, I can't, I can't sit here and describe it enough. Uh, Irish with, uh, Irish, or I'm sorry, Wolfhound Irish whiskey, uh, is the way to go. If you want to, if you like, uh, Jameson, if you like proper 12, this tastes very, very, very similar. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go on, I'll go on out on a limb here and go ahead and say that Wolfhound Irish whiskey is smoother than Jameson. Um, as I, I think that, um, proper 12 is, uh, I'm an Irish whiskey drinker. Um, I like, uh, proper 12. That's my favorite, uh, before it came out. Yes. Jameson was my favorite. I thought Jameson was the best out there, but after uh proper 12 came out, dude, I'm telling you, Conor McGregor can punch it. He, he can knock me out with it. Cause that stuff's smooth. It's, it tastes good. Uh, this thing, uh, Wolfhound Irish whiskey, as I'm reviewing right now, uh, it, it tastes a lot like both of these uh, whiskeys we're talking about. Um, it, it, it it's, a, it's not as smooth now. It's not as smooth as the uh, proper 12. Uh, it tastes a lot like it, but it's got, I feel like it's got more of a kick to it. Uh, every time, even with the Coke, when I sip on it, I can kind of still feel that uh, kick. Whereas if you ever have mixed, a lot of people don't, but if you ever have mixed Irish whiskey, Irish whiskeys with Coke, um, like uh, Proper 12, like uh, Jameson, um, things like that, then you're definitely going to, uh, you'll, you'll definitely feel more of a kick in this one than those. But hey, it's all good, bro. This shit tastes good. And I'm telling you, you guys want to get something good? Go out and get you some of that Wolfhound Irish whiskey. It's freaking awesome. Okay. Total Wines, where I picked it up there in Mandeville. Uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, I'll be going off. I'm about to sign off of here. Uh, this is it with the Irish whiskey review for the night. I wanted to do, a, I'm going to start doing some drink reviews uh, during the off season for football. Um, so yeah, y'all stick around. If y'all want to learn about some whiskeys, learn about some, uh, just some worldwide stuff. I'll, I'll be doing a uh, review on some Viking blood, uh, mead probably tomorrow night or tomorrow, depending on how that goes. But my buddy, Mark, uh, Mark says, uh, he got the Paul Masson, hi, <laughs> the Paul Masson brandy, baby. Hope he's enjoying that. What you drinking with it tonight, Mark, if you're still watching? I'd like to know what you're drinking it with. But look, man, uh, I'm going to jump off of this stream. I wanted to do kind of a solely uh, review on the Irish whiskey and um, on the Wolfhound Irish whiskey. And uh, I'm about to go live again and just kind of live talk as I watch, uh, as I play the video game. So y'all jump into that one. I mean, right now I'm about to log uh, sign out of this, go right back live. So if y'all want to keep watching and hanging out, uh, just jump into it. Uh, and by the way, Mark said he's drinking it straight, dude, like a G, like a G.